Hey guys, this is Thomas from Camelot. This is our new album, The Shadow Theory, and you're watching Loud TV. I think it's important now with um, leaks and the internet that um, all the hard work that's done by the artist is protected. Uh, you know, there's always some somebody that wants to brag that they got the record and they put it on the internet. And since it's digital, it just takes one person. So we like to, you know, have a little bit of control over that. And I think uh, the journalists respect that. Um, and we give them enough information to kind of get a good idea of what the record's going to be like. So um, yeah, and. and I'm thankful that Napalm kind of understands that that whole philosophy as well. And uh, at the end of the day, it's all about making sure that the promotion and the rollout for the record is respected. And the fans, they, they don't want to hear the whole record on, on the Internet before it's available to them. You know? you know, a lot of people don't understand the amount of time that goes into making these records. And, of course, there's the money aspect, but just forget about the money, the time and, and the energy and the passion. And, I mean, I've heard about bands that have had their album leaked four months before the album even came out so yeah um napalm understands that and it's one of the reasons we love them yeah it's been three years since haven but um you know two years were solid touring we basically toured more than ever with that album it opened like a ton of doors uh, so we took advantage of that you know we, we played in Japan a couple of times we did two or three US tours um, and then we took most of last year working on the, the shadow theory and we spent a lot of time and energy and the end result we we're really happy with yeah for a full year of writing recording I mean there was a little bit of time off here and there vacation stuff but for the most part we took a full year to to write compose and then recording and literally yesterday we got the master so no these are people that we kind of um, like Lauren Hart for example she she did a show with us with Iron Maiden in California in the summer and she's really a, a cool talent really nice person uh, Jennifer Haben is a, a singer from Germany that is on the ballad, and um, she's friends with Sasha. So all these things kind of happen organically, and that's usually how it happens with us. We don't, we don't really make these big, uh, over-the-top efforts to try to get people. We usually work with people that we know. We recorded in mostly in Wolfsburg, uh, Pathway Studios, and then um, we recorded some in Stuttgart area. Um, we recorded some at my house. Uh, I have a, a home studio. My son is on one of the albums, on one of the uh, songs, Burns to Embrace. He's uh, in the children's choir, so we recorded some stuff there. And uh, um, I think our singer might have recorded some stuff in Sweden. Exactly. I mean, that, that's one of the good things about, I guess, technology is being able to kind of um, have that freedom to record little things here and there because we most of us use Pro Tools it's kind of the standard for the industry and um, so I was able to kind of like with my son's part just make a Pro Tools session and uh, send it to Sasha over the internet. There's kind of a concept around the whole record but it's not a concept story in the past, we did um, the Black Halo and Silverthorn. Those were stories based on characters. This, this, we just wanted to have an overall theme, this sort of dystopic theme that kind of lends its way to the melancholy in some of the songs. But at the end of the day, we really want to, um, we always want to convey some sort of hope for, for humanity and for mankind and um, a sense of empowerment. Yeah, and it's important, you know, especially with all the negativity that we that we get daily, and um, you know, part of the part of the concept is also this division 
that is created between like religions or um, countries, um, left, right, all these things that are basically dividing people instead of bringing us together. So we, you know, we, we kind of touch on those subjects a little bit, but at the end of the day, um, you know, we want people to all feel connected. You know, according to Carl Jung, everybody has a shadow, and if you don't acknowledge that, it gets darker and it eventually consumes you somehow. So that was kind of the genesis for the, the shadow theory. Um, you know, the Carl Jung uh, shadow thing is called the shadow aspect, but we like the name theory better, so. <laughs> you know, it's, it's not like a big thing in my life. I mean, I, I stumbled upon it, and I thought it was a really cool subject for the album. And we kind of married it with this um, this dystopic ideas that we had, like this future AI thing. And it, it was a good kind of um, symbiosis be between those two worlds that we thought really made sense. Yeah, you have to embrace it somehow, you know. Um, and I guess everybody has something in them that is dark. You have to acknowledge that and hopefully uh, control it. My shadow is overthinking, making decisions, whether it's the paint color in my office or the cover, for example, which I worked with. The, I drove the cover artist crazy with revisions and revisions, and eventually it's perfect. Stefan Heilemann, he did Silverthorn, he did Haven. Um, He's really good, he's very creative, and he also is a um, really fast worker. He has a really cool outlet to getting models, like we had um, a couple of models do the model shoot and we picked her. So we kind of base it on, on this one model. And I really liked her look because she had a bit of an exotic look, which I thought was perfect for the cover. North America has already been selling for six months. Uh, we, we do North American tour April, May. Um, the European tour is slowly getting announced. We've announced three three dates already: London, Tilburg, which we're going to shoot a DVD Blu-ray at, and then we um, Oslo, which is uh, where we shot the last DVD. So those three shows have been already announced and on sale, and then we're going to slowly start building the rest of the European tour and. Um, I know Paris and Lyon is already planned for France, maybe one other city. Uh, so I think within the next couple of weeks we'll probably have, um, by the time this is aired, I'm sure that all the dates will be on. Yeah, I don't know. I've always like been influenced by European music, whether it's the, from the early days of listening to classical music to you know bands like Maiden and um, Scorpions. Uh, there's always been some European elements uh, to my taste. And uh, a, lot of, a lot of people thought we were a German band when we first came out, for example. But, um, you know, I think this, the world is so, is so small now with everybody. And you, if you want access to certain things or cultures, um, it's possible. So, like, when I, when I meet people, I don't really think too much about where they're from. I, I kind of more judge them by their, their character. And, um, yeah, so we're, we're an international band. Yeah.